Well, baseball fans, your favorite day is finally here, the home opener, the day when your team first takes the field and when anything is possible. Tonight, we go inside the game and introduce you to a man who puts the fan in fanatic. ABC 15's Brian Webb is live at Chase Field with his story. And Brian, we showed the super fan's house at five. It was amazing. He's got to be so excited tonight. <laughs> Oh, you better believe it. And you know, if there was a Hall of Fame for fans, Frank Genario would be inducted any day now. He has been here since the beginning and has no plans of stopping anytime soon. I can handle that. The D backs have a lot of great fans, but few are in the same league as Frank Genario. Well, I got season tickets for the Diamondbacks uh, from day one, and uh, the rest is history. Frank not only looks the part with his team jersey, wallet, shoes, and clothing you can't see, but he also talks the talk and walks the walk. He's been to every home game the D-backs have ever had, 1,234, with one sad exception. And that was last April 20th when my two-and-a-half-year-old grandson passed away. In Section D, Frank has plenty of friends and a few fans of his own. As for family, they know better than to schedule something during a D-backs game, including his daughter's own wedding day. If you want me to pay for your wedding? I'm going to have to be there. And if the Diamondbacks are playing, I'm going to be at the game. So with Frank securely in his seat, granddaughter in his lap, and son now a team bat boy, the love of baseball Frank got from his father is secure for future Genario generations. It's the home opener, and Frank feels right at home. And Frank tells me there was one other fan who was right there with him until she got sick and had to miss a few games. So Katie and Steve, that's what it takes with these super fans. Something major has to happen for them to miss a game. That's how much they love baseball, how much they love the D-backs. Yeah, yeah pure dedication right there. God, Thanks, Brian. Let's bring in